So it's currently Friday the 26th of March and I've been out of quarantine now for a few days. It is nice to be home. Anyone that has dealt with flat earthers for a while knows that the equinox is a time when we can make numerous observations that utterly destroy any notion that the earth is flat. The most recent equinox was less than a week ago on Saturday the 20th of March. And around this time we can make a very unique observation of the earth's shadow moving across the line of geostationary satellites. Back in September, during the last equinox, I made a series of videos demonstrating this. And what I'm going to show you now is a recent observation taken just two nights ago of this satellite eclipsing occurring once again. So at home I have access to the larger telescopes, but to keep things consistent, I use the same little Ioptron mount and Skywatcher ED72 scope that I had in Perth for the previous observation. And that means the field of view is identical. And also, we are looking at the same group of satellites, which includes Himawari 8 and 9. Those are visible clearly in Sydney, Australia, and also in Perth, Western Australia, more than 3,000 kilometres away. So as per the previous observations, initially I had the telescope tracking the stars. And that means we can see the satellites moving from left to right across the image. When Himawari 8 and 9 entered the field of view, I turned off the tracking on the telescope. Because the telescope is no longer moving and the satellites are geostationary, they remain in the image. And what we now see are the stars moving from right to left. These first two satellites are Himawari 8 and 9, followed by three that are slightly brighter. Initially, there was quite a lot of light pollution because the moon was fairly close to where the telescope was pointed. But because the telescope was stationary and the moon continued moving towards the west, the situation improved. Exactly at the time predicted by the Sky Safari app, the satellites began to blink out, starting from right to left. Here we can see Himawari 8 and 9 have now entered the Earth's shadow and shortly after the following three satellites did the same thing. Just over an hour later they begin to reappear. Initially Himawari 8 and 9 and then the three following satellites. So there we have it again, another observation that utterly destroys flat Earth due to the unique geometry of the equinox, an observation that anyone can make with fairly modest equipment. Back in September, I challenged Flat Earthers to prepare for the March equinox and make this observation themselves. As far as I know, not one of them has even attempted it. I guess they're all too busy still trying to sell t-shirts to the poor few who still believe Flat Earth is real. Anyway, Please enjoy the footage.